Hey everyone, welcome back to Hollow Knight. I think I have figured out where we might need to go. Uh, in fact, I did not look this up. You'll have to trust me on this. But I remember that here there was something in that little corner down there. There's a room with a... It had a gate on it that I just couldn't access before. And I think that might be it. If that's not it, uh, there will be a sneaky edit, which won't be so, so sneaky, which will, you know, have me Google the answer, but ideally that's not gonna, it's not gonna come to that. Anyways, so yeah, we're back in Hollow Knight. I don't know when this episode is gonna go up, but... Hell yeah, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it. I remember that there was a door here. Fucking hell. Oh, this is good. There's only one thing we gotta hope for now. And that is that this isn't a side area. And if it is a side area, I can't be a side area. Like this seems so significant. And like getting that crest or whatever. Like to me that seems kind of integral to the whole experience of this game. There's no way. Oh shit, Geo. Not that I need it. But hey. We got it. And I'm free falling. Okay, I probably free fell uh, through a lot of stuff. Uh, this looks like those cliffs area. That didn't make sense. That cliff area we had before. Um, where it was kind of difficult to make progress, honestly. There's just so much of it. Okay. Listen, do I need this Geo? Uh, not really, but I'll take it. After I, I threw all my cash into the fucking <laughs> into the fucking uh, fountain and it didn't do anything. Kind of like throwing your cash into a real fountain, you know. Classic like 90s slash early 2000s like mall shit, you know. And the mall fountain full of coins. Which is like the weirdest thing, isn't it? Like, you know, if you're like in it Italy or like some significant, you know, historic place, you know, and there's a fountain. How convenient is that? <laughs> How convenient. A deep blue stone atop a daze. Well, I'm very happy about that. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, if you're like... In a place like that, sure, throw your coin into it. It's still pointless, but it's like, go for it. You know, throwing your shit, throwing your shit into like a mall fountain is like, it's pretty funny, honestly. Give me my geo. So I'm assuming this is all gonna lead to some leads to somewhere, lead to somewhere. I mean, this area is pretty interesting. I think I'm gonna heal up just a little bit. Oh man, th there's so much here. I mean, it's like wall to wall. There is a clear path. And it's leading downward, so I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, let's just take things slowly. Oh, that thing looks like us. That looks like us. Holy shit. The abyss. I can't believe there is an abyss in this game as well. Man, there's a lot of us. 
is this where we go when we die? Like, is this all my deaths during this playthrough? If so, half of these corpses came from when I was fighting uh, Hornet in the previous episode. That's for fucking sure. We could have gone both ways there. This is fascinating. I love areas like this. Uh, that are kind of like mysterious. Of the beaten path, you know. I'm watching a playthrough currently. From Nintendo Capri Sun. Of uh, Metro Metroid Fusion. And, you know, that's like giving me the same vibes. I remember playing Metroid Fusion. What the hell is this place? Uh, I remember playing Mit Metroid Fusion, and that game kind of had the same feeling, you know. That game was, like, so good at creating atmosphere with, like, nothing, basically, just music, you know. Because it's a 2D side-scroller, so it's, like, unlikely to be scary. Uh, but it still kind of manages to, min like, create a scary... Oh, hello. Man, this is, like, the actual abyss. Like, the Dark Souls abyss, I mean. Um, we won't judge. Holy shit. We won't judge, game. These concepts are universal. Uh, so yeah, that's what this reminds me of. Like, when you enter the, uh, the secret research laboratory in Metroid Fusion. That's what this reminds me of. It's like, you know, or when you're in the reactor core, you know, it's like... That feeling of, like, you shouldn't be here. I definitely feel like I shouldn't be here, because these guys are hella strong. How did I lose this much HP? Okay. So I'm hoping... That this will lead to something significant. It's gotta lead to something significant. Like at this point, I'm gonna just look at this place. Yeah, this is very cool. I like this. <clears throat> so before I choke, I like this game a lot. Oh, they don't give you. They don't give you shit. You gotta be careful then. Whoa. Not sure if I should have done that. I did it. Uh What the hell? Turn it off? Cannot. My king, I'm sorry. The sea calls. Okay. That was an accident. Um Okay. This is muy misterioso. That's not how you say that in Spanish, but it's okay. Uh, is this just endless? Just endless death? That's, that's just endless death. Uh, we might be in trouble here, boys. Because I have. No clue what to do. We'll go up. We'll take a visit up again to the top. I mean, this shit is spiky. Like, there's no doubt about that. Okay. Yeah, there's a switch there, but it's like... Turn it off? Cannot. 
I mean, he says the sea calls, but which sea? <clears throat> Is that that dawn, that black? Like water that's outside? Oh shit! You can make it across, because the monsters are gone. Oh, because of the light. That's why. This place is awesome. This is really GG's to the devs of this game, because this is sick. And then this is where we'll be able to turn it off, I'm assuming. I see you there sort of secret passage that might not be a secret passage oops okay I see because there's no way you can make it through there because they're gonna claw you to death uh, holy shit if I die here I just realized yeah there's no way not not yet because uh, you need to somehow banish these monsters Whoa. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get some super awesome power. Absorb the Shade Cloak. Press R2 to dash forwards cloaked in shadow. Use the cloak to dash through enemies and their attacks without taking damage. Holy shit. That is awesome. Okay, it takes a little bit to charge up. Arcane egg. That is sick. Arcane egg. Let's have a look. What is it? Is it a charm? What is it? Defender's Crest. Either I'm blind. Uh, oh, okay. Mysterious stone egg from before the birth of Halonus. Relic from the ancient past. This item now holds little value except for those dedicated to history. We'll be able to sell that shit. Is that it? Seriously? But what will we, what will we be able to do with uh, turning off that whatever? Unless you like need the shade cloak. I feel like let me just go back. Nah. Nah. It's, it doesn't look like any shit. Doesn't look like anything. Hmm, okay. Useful, I think. I might just have a theory that this will allow us to make it through like the bong water. Not the bong water, like the those areas that are blocked off. Because I mean, like dash through enemies, you know. Why not dash through like dark barriers? But now this this bothers me that I can't seem to can't seem to do anything here. Maybe now. Or maybe this is just this. It's like give you a way forward. Hmm. Is that it? Ugh. I mean, like, it looks like this is it. And I don't know why I feel like I haven't done everything. Because we got the item. And I think the item is, like, what we need. It just still kind of feels like... 
This is awesome, by the way. This place. So, you know, if I was... If I was being an asshole, what I'd do is just quit and reload. And, like, teleport back to the top, basically. Because you can do that in this game. But I just want to come back here. Maybe with the shade cloak, there is... Maybe this is... I don't know. Weird. Okay. Let's recollect our thoughts. I think what I'm gonna do is we'll test out my theory. We will test out my theory. See, you know, the thing is I was almost right. In that... The... Because last episode I thought that the... The crest is going to allow us to get through those barriers. Well, not exactly. But then again, almost. Thank you. I love when the game puts me forward when I die. It's like I'm getting out of... Or did it? Oh no, it didn't. Just everything kind of looks the same. Anyways, I'm going to go through here because I enjoy platforming. This is so cool. There are, like, there's like a ton of us. Like, this character, like the main character. So maybe it's like... And probably the Hollow Knight lore masters are going to correct me if I'm wrong. But maybe we're like some like ancient race or something. That could be cool. Because we had the broken vessel too, right? Oh shit. Hello. Ghost, I see you face the pa Yes, the place of your birth and now drape yourself in the substance of its shadow. Though our strength is born of similar source, that part of you, that crucial emptiness, I do not share. Funny then, that such darkness gives me hope. Within it, I see the ch chance of change. Okay. I'd urge you to take the harder path, but what end may come, the decision rests with you. Cool. I like you. So we're gonna have, like, a choice here, I think, with the ending. What did she say to prolong the infection or like end it or whatever? I feel again Dark Souls ish. I don't actually know how many endings this game has. I mean, just from this example, two obviously. Uh, but we will we will see when we get there. All right. We have a theory to test out. Still cannot. I wonder if we'll be able to interact with that. Well, I mean, obviously it's there. Something we, there is something we can do with it, but we'll just see. Okay, take me to the Queen's station, the stage. Because this is the thing that bothers me most, honestly. I know there's one down in the one of these like shadow walls. If we can really go through this, now, one of these shadow walls. There's one down in uh, Deep Nest. But there's one here, and this one is the real one that bothers me because Corn Effects is on the other side, and this is like the one area I don't have a map for, and it really bothers my OCD. So, you know, we are going to test it out. I mean, I could be 100% wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. I mean, this really feels like what you need to do. Yeah, fuck you. 
Yeah, let's test this out. I mean, this is gonna, this is gonna open up a lot. Actually, how many of those areas? I seem to remember a third one, but I don't remember where. <laughs> I mean, that's like, what a what a statement. Yeah, this is the wonderful. This is the real thing that's been bothering me. F how? Why? Have I forgotten how to play this game? No, I have not. Alright, you better let me... Hell yeah! I had a feeling... There you go. Oh, and you can probably now, if you time yourself correctly, you can probably avoid that, right? By using your dodge. Yes. I'm not going to have enough money. Hmm. 150. Perfect. Oh, I'm so happy. You don't even know how long I've been waiting for this. What? Oh. Look at that. Teacher's archives. That means this is where we need to go forward. Because, yeah. Awesome. Whoops. Okay, that's two points of damage. My mistake. Because this is where the, the last dreamer is. Okay, so I thought that Abyss area would serve its purpose, but it ended up... Whoa! Hello there. It ended up being way more useful than I thought. Okay, it's those eggs. We gotta be careful. With the detonation. Oh, come on. The AoE. And technically, yeah, I can just dodge through them. There's no point in even killing them, really. Okay. So we can go up. This is an awesome area. Yeah, okay. The idea was there. What? What the hell was that? I just got like ass blasted. Hold on. We gotta see where this leads. Uh, hopefully it leads to a bench. Somewhere. Oh shit. Yes, please, let me heal. Oh, this is another one of these areas. I was just about to say, oh no. I am screwed. Actually, no I'm not, there's a bench here. Okay, no. That's where that leads. Damn you game. You got me. You got me. I will admit. We're actually now looking at it. Like, if this is the last dreamer, are we like seriously nearing the ending? It kind of feels like it. Just, you know... Just looking at it, you know. I don't know. If we are, if we are that near, uh, oh shit. We need to go up further. 
you know, when we get to like what I feel like is the end game, I will take suggestions on uh, where I need to go in terms of if I may miss like any huge like optional areas or something. I will take advice happily on those just because, you know, missing out on like an item or something is one thing, but I don't want to miss like huge chunks of this game accidentally. Which is, you know, always possible with this type of game. Especially since this is playthrough number one. Although I am for sure gonna replay this game once I finish with it. Because I'm actually, again, I'm like really, really liking this game. Okay, be careful with the egg. Now I know the gimmick. It's easy as hell. Yeah, they really want you to have this ability, you know, before coming here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say I, I like need to go over all the like, stupid paths I've been taking. Really what screwed me here is that Geo deposit with two exploding eggs. That's like what did me in. You know, that's four four points of damage, you know. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Maybe not actually. Cause I mean this is like contained into this one area. It's just Oh fuck you. How? What are you kidding me? Could I have been screwed any harder? How are you supposed to get through this? Oh, come on. I have rancid eggs, so... Like, I can... You know, like, recover it. For free. But it's just like, damn. Why did it put it on the other side? Need to kill that thing somehow. It's like the most difficult enemy in this game. All of a sudden, when you're coming from below, bouncing on one of these fucking mushrooms. It's not like I don't have an invisible, invincible dodge. No, I am not about to die to these enemies. Never said I was good at this. By this I mean... This like bouncing platforming thingy. Ah, <sighs> stressful. Because I mean... The previous area does lead back to the Forgotten Crossroads. So technically... I have a pretty good feeling that I cannot believe I fell. I have a pretty good feeling that once we... are done here... Yes, I'll be able to like get back to uh, what you call it, dirt mouth. These like say something, don't they? Teacher, they're like really harping on about this teacher. That ain't the first time it's been mentioned. Okay, let's get out of here. And again, if I'm correct, yes, that leads to. 
an unknown part of the forgotten crossroads. Let's see. I mean, this game is all about exploration. Oh, thank fuck for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So. How, how am I supposed to infect it crossroads? Okay. Dang. I have no idea how you're supposed to get through this. I can only think of... Like, you gotta be able to get some type of, like, various suit. After a while. I think that's gonna be, like, the ability we get here. Okay, how should I tackle this? I mean, we could go to green path as well. Man, I was really screwed here. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is... That's what we're gonna... Maybe the game will decide for me. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think... Well, actually, no, we can go down as well. That's probably what leads to the boss. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. And... I will make it back to... Dirt mouth via quitting and reloading and then I'll come back here and we can pick it up from here next time So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching if you enjoyed this episode of hollow Knight, I am legit about to die uh, Make sure to you know like the video do all that if you are oh man if you're familiar with this game again Maybe I'll need you in the future if I'm feeling like I'm nearing the ending just to see what happens Yeah Thanks for watching and peace out guys. Goodbye.